Hi, I'm Sean Clements. I'm a film, TV, and video game composer, and we're here at my studio at Columbus Tree Ranch. I, you know, started playing guitar when I was 12. I grew up in a family where my dad had a music shop. I fell into it really quickly. I absorbed myself in music, and by the time I was 13, I was actually playing full time. I was doing four or five nights a week jamming and stuff like that. And as I got probably around 16, 17 years old, and I just dawned on me, I'm like, I really wanted to do film scoring and TV scoring and all that kind of stuff. And so I ended up going to Berkeley uh, for a couple of years, Berkeley in Boston. Eventually, I found my way to LA, beat the pavement, and found my way into film scoring. The difference between film scoring and say just writing a song, this the film tells you what it wants. I mean, at least to me it does. You know, more more emotion here, it needs a heavier hand here or a lighter hand, because you're like a character. So that's that's really where the brain starts really working. I have to see it, and then it just kind of flows. When I first came out to LA, um, I got a call from a friend of mine, and he had just started working for Cakewalk, and he knew I was out here doing stuff, and he called me up and he said, Dude, you gotta check out this software. It's really happening, and I know what you're doing. And I'm a PC guy. And that's where I, you know, that's where I came from. So I said, yeah, send it to me. Let's check it out. And that, I think it was Cakewalk 4.5 at the time. That was it, and I never changed. I just went through the whole, you know, the whole motions of all the different versions, and now we're at X1 or X2, or you know, it's awesome. It's awesome. I'll do all my pre-records and all my stems here. I mean, I record everything. My entire score is there. Um, unless, of course, I'm using a live orchestra, then I'm going to incorporate, you know, what, what they're using there. I use it for a lot of mixing, a lot of processing, all the MIDI, all the audio, the whole thing. A lot of times I have this. This is a V700. This is uh, my laptop with X1. It, it just makes life easier, and it's super powerful, and I can, I can do a lot of work. I mean, you can, you can work. I mean, you can make stuff happen. And it's portable, which is really key. The thing that always kept me really tied to that whole platform is it's it's easy to use, it's super intuitive, yet it has all the bells and whistles that you want. Like if you want to do all this crazy stuff, you can do it. And it's easy to figure out and it's simple. I'm a I'm like, you know, I'm an old-fashioned guy. I like three knobs on an amplifier, you know. And what's you know, Sonar has evolved a lot over the years, and you can do all that, but there's still that basic element of it that is like you get what you need quickly, it's there. That to me is a real strong point, and it's solid. That's the key thing. Because when you're on crazy deadlines and you know you you can't have stuff go down and you can just rely on it, I mean that's that means a lot. I've worked on a ton of stuff. Um, you know, in TV, I worked on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, video games. I've done you know a couple of Batman games, Tarzan, Donald Duck, uh, Sims 2, a bunch of movies. Uh, one of the last movies I worked on that I really I really love is a movie called Quantum Quest, which has actually just got nominated yesterday for another award. So it's it's kind of cool. Right now, uh, interestingly enough, I'm working on a new season of World's Wildest Police Videos. And what's really amazing about it is there's a show I did in the 90s and then it you know, went off the air. It's been in syndication and reruns for 10 years, doing great. And out of the blue, they picked it up for a new season. So I'm doing that. I'm doing another season of Top 20 Most Shocking. Um, I'm about to start work on a film called Sinbad, The Fifth Voyage. Um, I'm also working on a four-hour miniseries documentary about Ray Bradbury. And then also on the production side of things is also I'm moving into the world of producing things. I'm working on a show called uh, Masters of Sound and a film called Johnson & Johnson, which I'm also going to score. What I like about this is you never know what you have to do and you're constantly challenged. Different styles. Like one minute you're doing, you know, horror music, then you're doing techno music, and then you're doing hillbilly music, and then it's kind of uneasy sometimes, but it's I like that. I like that constant change. It's a tough, tough business. You have to want it. I mean, don't go into it because oh I'm gonna make a lot of money, I'm gonna do this. You do it because you wanna do it. And you gotta give it a thousand percent. It's seven days a week, no days off, it's all your energy, it's everything get somewhere in this business and you have to really want it. And be honest with yourself, you know, um, know what it is that you can do and find out the skills that you have that make you unique and really focus on that and just work really, really hard.